in ages long forgotten. Light fought darkness for control of the world. Dark Dragon led the evil horde of darkness. The ancients fought back with the powers of light. Dark Dragon was defeated and cast into another dimension. The Lord of Darkness vowed to return in 1,000 years. Times passed and Dark Dragon was forgotten by all. The land of Rune enjoyed 10 centuries of peace. Until the kingdom of Runefus brought war and fear to Rune, hordes of creatures ravaged the land. Here and there, strongholds of good still held out, awaiting the hero who could wield the powers of life. And that, my friends, is Shining Forest. So yeah, I did kind of read that out. That was so weird. <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous. But um, yeah, this starts back with another Let's Play. Mario's pretty much done at this point, and I'm just showing off special UA levels. Um, to get things started, I am actually doing New Game Plus. Now, granted, I could go through a new game uh, and play the game all over, things like that, but apparently, um, New Game Plus, like the more times you do it or whatever the case may be, enemies are actually a little harder or have more HP. It was one of those. But that's the play. I'm gonna go through. So, I forgot most of the thing in this game, I already had a save file on record. So, we're just gonna go ahead and get started. <coughs> well, I just slashed uh, Varios in the face. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. And this is poor animation, by the way, guys. But no, seriously, um, Shining Force is probably one of my favorite games of all time. Um, it's probably in one of my top 10 best RPGs for me, uh, just because games like Grandia and Final Fantasy definitely stand out. And for all you wondering, that's definitely Final Fantasy uh, 4, for sure, at least for me. So let's see. As you can see, the main character is Max. He's a pretty much washed up swordsman, but you'll find out in due time. So. On the new game plus, I do have all the cards, so I will not be missing anything. I will also explain what the cards do later, but for now, we're just going to go ahead and progress the story. That's low, pretty useless healer, but we won't tell him that. He's pretty much like uh, like the Luigi in the story. Honestly, I that's how I feel. He's just kind of like... Oh look, you're doing so good, and I'm not doing anything at all. So, upon the other things, Max has lost his memory. More or less, he was a washed-up swordsman, or so it seems. And they found him on the beach or the coast, whatever you want to call it. Then, uh, upon finding him, he has amnesia, so he can't remember none of his past, things like that. I know what happened, but I don't want to spoil it for everyone else. So. This uh, soldier comes in and pushed me out the way like I was nothing. <coughs> wow, rude. So apparently something's going on in the castle, and they're both just gonna like waltz right away. And, like he he could have hurt me, but you know whatever. That's how uh, higher ups are. They just want like push you out the way, things like that. So he's going to go take a look too. Like I have no care in the world. So yeah, this is the sort of chapter run, which is the Room Fuss Invasion. And I want to say that's pronounced Guardiana. I, I have no clue, but I'm just going to call it Guardiana for now. That's what it looks like it's called, but anyways. Um, the priest has a dream about me last night. He's guessing, he's telling me to guess what it was. I am no thank you. Well, I suppose even the great Lord Max can't read people's minds. No, no shit, Sherlock. I mean, you did have a dream about me after all, so... Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I just saw that. You had a dream on me on the beach? Oh, God, please, keep me out of your dreams. Jesus Christ. 
Oh, God, and I said that, and we're in a church. That's double negative. See, priests making me sing really, really off things. What's wrong, Father? The role lies before you is fraught with many dangers. Should you come across the church along the way, make a record of your journey. In other words, save your game. We don't need you. So, yes, I understand how to make a record. It pretty much saves the game. Uh, <coughs> pedophile! Uh. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and continue with the story. There's a couple of things I'm going to do before going to the castle. There is a certain someone I need to meet. I don't remember who he is, though. I don't think he appeared yet, but, uh, give me a sec. Oh yeah, there's a wrong button. What am I doing? There's a wrong button. I forgot that. It's B. There we go. It's Gord. Now, he's one of the extra characters you can get. If you just listen to a story, he pretty much, uh, kind of like, I don't know, gains morale, but you'll see later why. Ah, oh, let's see. Hey, the youngster, want to talk for a bit? Yeah, that's fine. Knights of the Sword. So pretty much this this is like one of the dudes, uh oh, that's all you have to say? Uh, well, he's just pretty much telling me that the knights are a pain in the ass, but that's fine. Whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the castle. I keep forgetting there is a run button. We're using this run button. And so we summoned you Varios, which I just kinda like cut in the middle of the conversation. There's apparently grave news, so gonna find out what this uh, thing is. There is an evil aura around the gates of the ancients to the east of this castle. Fortunately, Nova, our most able strategist, was able to detect this aura in time. The gates of the ancients is where the relics of the gods are sealed. We must act to protect them. Well, to be all fair, like, something's gonna... If I can get... Because I already played this game, so, I mean... To be fair, if I, we could have just like took that portal, like forever ago, like this game would be a lot shorter. Whoa, whoa what you just say? I never trust a man of such a really. Oh, please. <coughs> Got in here, that. Our Max, we need you to leave the forest to the gates of the ancients. It pains me to actually do such a thing, but. You know what? That's fine. I'm I'm Max. I'm strong enough. Of course, my eyes is great. I was born to fight. Did I mention I'm handsome too? What do you say? Will you accept? I mean, of course I will. I'm Max. I'm I'm OP. I'm like a tier two character in this game. Oh yeah, tears matter. Cause there's gonna be some characters that's uh, that's definitely gonna outclass some of your later members. So let's go ahead and go. Or run per se. So now we're gonna meet with uh, some people within our cast that you will probably never see again after chapter three. So from the top, you got Ken, pretty crappy knight, Tao, which is pretty useful for like majority of the beginning, Hans, which is the most useless character out of these of this entire bunch, and Luke, which is definitely OP beyond comparison. So right away, we get five opening Shining Force characters, including our own, of course. And we can't forget the Luigi of this game. Yes, I'm going to the Gates of Ancients. Take me with you! Kinda don't want to, but to be fair, healers are okay. So we're gonna go ahead and skip ahead. And there's Nova, which he's like some kind of a... Uh, what is Nova? He looks like a kind of like aqua creature, dog, badger thing. Yeah, sure. So moving on, we got our team assembled. We must report back to the castle. So that's exactly what we'll do. Already good. There is a carriage at the gates. The carriage will take you to the gate of the ancients. But be but before that, take this to help you prepare for the journey. I suggest you buy a herb or two. Just in case something happens. And he gives us a hundred coins. Not a thousand. Not even a few hundred, just a hundred coins. What kind of cheap kingdom is this? <laughs> but then again, there's like one castle and like five houses. Uh. <clears throat> Whoops. My bad. 
Uh, hashtag push cart. No, so we won't talk to him. Nothing will happen, but he's he's kind of angry. Um, I guess I would. No, no, no. We don't want to buy all of them. We just can get four. Nope, I'm good. Wait, was that a ring? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. I have no money anyway. So here's our cat. It's got a swordsman, a knight, mage, archer, a warrior, and a healer. Which is all pretty basic for tactical RPGs like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and give uh, Max a herb. I'm gonna give him a herb. Towels, a glass, and we Hans don't deserve anything. But our boy Luke right here is amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and take our carriage. So, as I said, this is New Game Plus, and one of the interesting parts about New Game Plus is that you get an additional character early on. That additional character is Moloch. As you will see here shortly, he looks really creepy. Especially when he was riding a carriage and kind of appeared in a dungeon out of nowhere. No, no, don't look at me like that. Nothing fishy about me. Well, maybe a little bit. I'm Moloch. And just like, look at his face. It's like one eye is not positioned properly, and the other eye is like where it's supposed to be. I, I, I don't I don't get it. He's like the most ugliest yet tier one character I've ever seen. So one thing about him is that uh considering getting him early on, it does make some parts in this game easier. His power is that he gets power from all the cards you find throughout the game. Which again, I do have them all, and I will do my best not to use all the OP cards early on, because I want to make this enjoyable, not me one-shotting everything all day. So upon that, we're going to go ahead and skip the first battle. Not exactly skip skip, but we're just going to retreat from here, because there's a house over here. And as I know, there's a couple things in this house that we should keep note of. This dude right here, which is Gong. Gong is pretty much an extra character. He's a monk. He's pretty much like pretty good with the uh, physical attacks. He can actually heal your party. Pretty fun stuff. But yeah, he just kind of like forces himself into the party. Second, there is this thing. Meat yogurt. It's... You will understand the power of this thing later in the game. Is he OP? Probably not. Definitely not. But um, the third thing is her. After uh, Gort joins you, you kind of just want to be uh, you kind of just want to talk to her like two times. She'll give you a present. She actually give you Gong's card. But since I already have Gong's card, she actually give you something additional, which is the teeny bikini. The teeny bikini is a rather unusual yet awesome item. As you can see, there's like a sexy lady like in my items box. So, this is pretty much a... It's an outfit for a character. You can use it for two characters in the game, which is Narsha and uh, Tao. Using it with Tao, instead of her normal mage outfit, it gives her something a little more revealing. As you will see here in a moment. So, we're all set up and prepared. But, um, again, like... Tao's not going to last too long, because there are some more useful characters. Let me see. A switch or something. Well, to be fair, like, this battle is going to be ridiculously easy, so they don't really say nothing, so I'm just, like, kind of speeded up through here. Yeah, that's good. So Earthquake happens, pretty much just letting us know they triggered a trap. So, apparently from this point on, for some odd reason, we can't get into the gate. Even though the gate's like right there. So, whatever. Uh, that's another thing. Moloch is level 8, so we kind of just don't want to use him in this battle. We kind of want to develop our younger characters, things like that. So, Gong can go up, and as you can see, like she has like nothing on. Her sprite is utterly revealing. I don't think I can. Okay, yeah, this is a 2x2. Two two. Okay, so. Go ahead and defend. Hans is actually not bad from the start. It's just later on, he's severely outclassed. Because you technically get like three archers. Diane is going to be like the useless of the bunch. But Lyle is amazing. 
So I'm going to go ahead and send Ken to do the first hit. He actually does a nice chunk of 8 damage. In uh, the original, before you beat the game, I believe they had about 12 to 13 health. So they do have a little more health. I'm not sure if they do more damage, but either way, I'm pretty experienced. I should be able to handle this. Um, Max is just shy. Um, Maul, I can just stay there. Um, with the interesting thing about this game, too, is that, uh, the enemies don't always come for you. They kind of, like, set up in formation, so when you come to them or if you, uh, trigger them in a certain spot, they will just, uh, they will act accordingly. But, as you will see, her outfit, look at this. Poor toys with sandals and a revealing, revealing outfit. Which is kind of funny because this is like one of the things you think they would take out of the US version in the remake, but they kind of kept it in. Considering, you know, Nintendo's history and things like that, but that's all fine. It's kind of like one of the more funnier outfits. Hans actually does 8. That's actually interesting. Because, like, uh, Hans never really do damage, so that's fine. Um, I got a healer, so he's gonna have to do something. I healed a dead four. That's uh, pretty decent. But as you can see, they're just standing in spot. I mean, we're this is the first battle, so they're not going to do too much. Ken ends up doing eight. Um, Low is probably going to take a good chunk. Oh, not at all. So even for a healer, he's kind of bulky on the start. Ken takes one. That legitimately did zero. So we're going to send like the best character on our team right now, Luke, and just come in and do a damage. He actually has a pretty nice defense stat too. And we trigger the dwarves. So okay, he did two to Ken. So just for the fact that that one did a little more damage, I kinda wanna keep my healers back, regardless. So again, Moloch is stuck in the corner. We're not doing nothing with him. As for Gong, we kinda wanna move him. Uh, actually no. We want to get him to attack Goblin. Might as well get this Goblin off the way. Like, Gong is another character you will not see probably past Chapter 2. Actually, probably not even past this chapter. Like, the first time I get to change characters, he's probably the first one that's going to go. And Tal's back. We're just going to use more Blade shenanigans. We're going to take out the second of the Goblins. That is so crazy, like, the pull toy just glows, and the enemy just gets fired. That is crazy. Like I said, she's actually pretty decent on start. Um, there's a couple of mages that outclass her in the game. Tal's like a tier 3 character. Tier 3 characters aren't bad, they're like mid-tier. You kind of want a team full of, uh, tier 1 and, uh, not tier, yeah, tier 1 and tier 2 characters. I mean, you're free to use anyone you want. It's pretty much stats based around RNG. If you get good stats earlier on, it might kind of like force you to keep the character. And uh, on a side note too, if Max is in range of any enemies, 90% of the time they will go for Max. So that's another thing. Did I just miss? That is unfortunate. Okay. So. Ken does have a spear. Spears do miss a lot from a distance. Even up close, I get a really high chance of missing. So, Luke is going to knock out our first Dark Dwarf. And it's going for Tao. That's, so, that's not too bad. But we kind of just want to get rid of enemies at this point. Um, we're just going to use Max to attack the stronger one. I'm not too worried about the... Oh, critical hit. And it did six. Okay, so that kind of felt pretty useless, even though that probably was a little better than I expected. Okay, so now the room knight decides to make a move. And Ken takes damage. Ken is actually down. That was unexpected. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Gong to do any kind of damage to him. I'm not expecting him to do a lot. Actually, that does a pretty decent well. Um, Tao needs to kind of get out of here a little bit. Um, let me just set the door from fire to see if that knocks him out, and it does. So it does exactly 7 from a 7 HP. She's gonna level up after this, so hopefully she gets some good stuff. 
Attack by one, MP by three. MP's good. Magic resistance is up. Okay. What do you want with the uh, mages is MP. There's like no magic attack stat in the game, so you kinda just have to go with what you think is best. Um, we're just gonna go here for the all enemy genocide. We're gonna knock everyone out here. And I don't Lowe's not gonna kill. Pretty close though. Then Goblin's gonna retaliate by attacking Max, that's fine. Max can take anything. But yeah, one some other things you're definitely gonna see in this game though, that's gonna be nice. Like I'm gonna try to sort of show off like all the secrets, at least all the characters. Wow, Luke actually go for a double attack. So Luke is gonna go ahead and level up as expected. He gains 2 HP, which is a pretty nasty level up, but it's whatever. Lord Kane is not taking an attack on Gardani. Okay. We did get the clear bonus. <coughs> I mean, clear bonus are self explanatory. When you beat the level, or I'm sorry, the battle within a certain amount of turns, you get special items and stuff like that. So, with that over, um. This triggered the second battle. So before we go to the battle, we're just gonna retreat. Because Ken did die, so we kinda need to bring it back. Surprisingly, this uh, dude used to be a priest out here in the woods. What are you out here, Mr. Priest? Did you get excommunicated from the church? Were you having dreams about me too? We can save all that for another episode. So we're just gonna go ahead and revive Ken. Granite Ken is absolutely useless in this next battle. Alright, for this battle, the clear bonus is 12 turns to receive a Demi Buster. Demi Buster is a really OP weapon. I would love to have it, and to obtain it, you have to beat it within a couple of turns. So, just off the start, we're gonna move, remove Ken from the battle, and... Actually, that's all. Yes. Um, actually, we're gonna retreat one more time. Just because, uh, we got Moloch here. I kinda wanna use him for this battle. Only because he can, like, uh. We're gonna put. Oops. Yeah, we're gonna throw Aleph in there. Um. Domingo. Attack with Freeze. Let's see. Musashi. Super Attack. Effect. Oops. And one more that's not, like, absolutely broken. You know, I'm gonna just keep this slot empty. I'm gonna just put the uh, yogurt card on here. Because, like, that card does absolutely nothing. I don't want to use him, like, to his full extent just yet. I'm probably going to, like, chapter 3. So, we're just gonna go ahead and begin battle 2. Um, one other thing about this game is that grinding. I You can grind in this game to get characters leveled up much faster. Um, what I'm gonna try to do. Is I just wanna I wanna go through this game without pausing or things like that. Uh no, we are not sending you up there. Ah, that's one person I should take out this battle. Okay, one thing we do need to do is we need to hurry. Because mountain cuts all your movements and stuff like that, and it, this battle could take a long time if I'm doing the all the wrong moves. So they set up a formation so I can't get past, which is gonna happen 100% of the time. Um, everyone else is just gonna stay in place. So again, mountain terrain is like the worst terrain you can kind of come across. Um, let's. I'm not sure if this would not come out, but that would be great if he does. Just shy. I mean, doing that much damage is actually pretty good. Because what I want to do is I want to blow holes in their defenses. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, move the tower over here. Just knock him out with the blade spell instantly. I know I could attack the other, but I want to make an opening so I can hurry and get to the other side as soon as possible. We want that Demi Buster. Okay, so we cleave the way through. Um, unfortunately, Hans can't make a move. Well, I mean, I guess I can move him up here. Lao can, Low can stay there. I keep calling him Lao, like kind of Lao. Okay, we already know you had Technicons, that's fine. 
don't mind me if I skip, like, the obvious. Like, Hans is not gonna take anything. If he dies, it's fine. I have, I don't have no care to go him at the moment. As long as we made our path and we can actually push through, that's all we need to do. And since enemies will have more HP as well, it is gonna make some future battles harder to get the, uh, completion bonus thing, whatever you wanna call it. Alright, so we're gonna use Molag to do damage to this other goblin. It doesn't knock him out. It actually got it gave me a lower roll, which is that's it's fine. Skip the knights. Um alright, so she's in range of knocking out either or we're going to go for the higher one. So we're gonna go ahead and set him on fire with the pull toy, and that is goblin out. Okay, we can skip this. And she gains another level. Defense by one. HP. Oh my goodness. Alright. Oh, she is gaining stats. If she keeps gaining stats, like, she's gonna be the character of choice to use in a lot of this gameplay. Because what we want, we want strong characters. If the RNG loves me enough, like, it can definitely help me out. Okay, 3 MP is fine. Um. Gonna go ahead and skip that. They're not gonna. They're, they're only moves. Like as soon as I hit the mountains at the top up there, they they would definitely come down and follow me. It doesn't matter. We're just gonna skip their turns. Like it's unnecessary watching them wait. Okay, turn four. We have eight more turns remaining. So with this, I'm actually gonna use them to copy. Um, we're gonna copy Domingo. Pretty much all my attacks will become the free spell. It's actually pretty nice. Which means I always do like nearly a set amount of damage. Which reminds me to explain. Magic in this game, well, most magic in this game, does a set amount of damage. It can either do something really high or something really low, depending on you know the spells, things like that. Um, fire seems to do a little more to undead. At least that's what I've been seeing. We will know when the time comes, but there's going to be some battles that's just going to be absolutely fun to just run through. So Moloch is the first one to get out of this mountain section up here. I can finally send Gong up, so everyone's not like crowded. Um, Tao can go up too. Hans is there. Lo is staggering behind. But yeah, magic in this game is actually pretty good. You get three main magic users. One Persuado magic user and like one god tier support person, which is Narsha, which you will see after this chapter is over. So we're already on turn six. We kind of need to speed this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and send Moloch over here, and he's gonna attack with these one. The thing is, I wanted to do a little lower damage so my uh, other characters can level up. Moloch can't. And me using a card, Moloch cannot counterattack as long as he has a card put to him. So that's good. And they can't do damage to Moloch anyway, so that's even better. So go ahead and do your random hit. That's not gonna do anything. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. stay with my girl. Wait, he could have attacked Hans, but he actually decided not to. Like the AI on the start is kind of like bleh, but uh, when you get to like. Quarrel and like the other later chapters, it gets kind of ridiculous. And that was nothing. Okay. Now, this is a good time to have Blaze too, but unfortunately, that's kind of a little ways from now. So, we're gonna just use Max to attack more goblins, things like that. Uh, Max is not doing enough damage. That is a problem. Alright, five more turns remaining. Uh, we're gonna use him to attack one of the Dark Dwarves. Just because, uh, if you can get the HP down for easier kills, that's a lot better. We're just gonna use him to heal. It's like a little fairy that's gonna fly around the screen. It's whatever. Okay, we can skip that. You actually get experience from healing in this game too, which is really abusive. Only for the fact that, uh, like, you can keep giving characters, like, herbs, or berries, whatever the thing may be. You can keep having them use like one per like of their turn and they gain 10 experience no matter what. 
and that's pretty much part of the grinding method. Which I I'm gonna be doing that, but I'm not gonna do it off camera. Like I want to show everything on camera. I'm not gonna grind on camera just because that that would be boring. But I'm going to definitely like, gain a little extra experience every other battle kind of thing. Or if they are not in uh, enemy's range of attack, same thing. Okay, everyone's just taking unnecessary damage. That's fine. Well, I takes another one. Alright. Now Luke is going to go down here and knock out the Dark Dwarf. I don't think he's going to get another level up. Like, this is like one of the characters that most people use through their entire Shining Force playthrough. Just because of how OP he actually is. And I'm going to go ahead and use Max to knock. Hopefully knock out. Okay, great. He's been doing really, really low damage. And it's been really discouraging me. Alright, so we have four more turns left. I'm actually going to send Moloch straight ahead. So by the time the other characters reach, uh, or catch up with Moloch, they will already be weakened, and I can collect my Demi Buster. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello? Three attack, three defense? My word. Like, for someone who I'm going to get rid of later, if he keeps getting stats like that, I'm I'm going to tag him along for a little bit. See, the thing is, with this game, characters can be good or bad. What, some characters are just naturally good, and some are, like Yogurt, beyond naturally bad. So, Lo is taking damage. No big deal. And they still attacking Luke in an effortless struggle. Um... I'm going to just use Luke to ignore it, just because I have bigger things I want to get through this chapter. Um, actually, I'm going to keep Max up here. Max needs to level up. And Max gets 3 attack, 2 defense, 2 speed, and magic resistance. That's exactly what we need to turn him around. Okay, so we're going to attack this Dark Dwarf right there. The Knights will not trigger unless I move up a space from where I am now. Normally they don't move down until like, it's like, until I'm really done. Alright, Gong knocks out the last remaining Goblin on this map. And he finds a Medical Herb. Alright, so there's two Knights, we're just gonna skip that. We need to send her down there as fast as possible. Hans needs to go down there. Now I can send Max. I'm I'm hoping I can make it down there in time. So, okay, they get attacked. Well, he get attacked. Okay, I have three turns to make something happen. So I'm gonna set Moloch here. Hopefully to bait the knights, they need to move. There, come on. Okay, knight one started to move. I need knight two to move. Alright, good. So he puts me where exactly one of the knights needed to be, so I can get some damage on him. So that way, when my other people get across the bridge, I can just try as hard as I can to go all out. Unfortunately, Hans can't make a move, but that's fine. I'm used to low to heal. Just to gain experience. It, 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 there's really no point to heal. Move max. Luke is going to knock out the Dark Dwarf right down at the bottom. He's going to gain some experience. And he's getting a lot- oh, no, level up. Just... Okay, he found a Metal Axe at least, but... That, uh... Bell stat gains are kind of bad. So we're going to go ahead and knock out the Rune Knight at the side. Now, now that he's knocked out, the other Knight is probably either going to go down south or just... Same place. Either decision is fine, but we need to kill him as soon as possible. Okay, so he ends up just attacking Moloch for useless damage. That's fine. Um, sadly, he's out of range with her and out of range with him. Okay, this might be bad. Um, we're just gonna attack. Hopefully, get some good damage. That's not bad. Okay. Actually, no, we're fine. Uh, I'm actually not going to use Moloch to do the finding, finishing blow. Just because someone else needs to get the kill. 
Okay. Well, that guarantees his death. Um. No, no, yeah, we, we'll let her take it. Why not? <laughs> she threw the Protoy on. That's crazy. Alright, so we killed the last enemy. Wiped him out with the poor toy. That's hilarious. The enemies have been wiped out, but I feel for Guardian. I'm gonna just say Guardian, whatever. Come on, we must hurry. But before we continue the story in, actually, should I go again? You know, no, no. I'll save it for the next video. But yeah, um, this has been Shining Force so far. I've always loved this game. It's definitely gonna be something I will complete on my channel. But yeah, um, thank you guys for all the support, and hopefully I can get another video up for this by the weekend. But until next time, laters.